Hey, what's up guys? So today I am in the garage, as you can tell, and I got something cool to show you. It's not that. Well, that is cool, but I'll do another video on that in another day. But it's something over here. A traffic light. This is something that me and my dad restored together. And uh, I really wanted to make a video on this uh, quite some time ago, but I never really got around to doing it. So today, is the day. So this is a real traffic light, 12 inch light. It came from, originally probably from a city of some place. <laughs> I don't know exactly where it, it originated, but it was used at a race car track. We got it on Craigslist for really cheap and we decided to restore it. As for color scheme, I decided to do a simple gray and black. I thought it looked good, gave it some kind of a modern, kind of man cave-ish like like design. It's using this really cool hammered finish paint and man, it just looks fantastic. It's really rugged paint. So the traffic light is actually made by Automatic Signal Division, LFE Cor Corporation. And I don't know exactly what the uh, original year is of this light. It could be probably 1970s, 80s, Roughly around that time, I think. And it's standing on a pedestal. We decided to do a race car theme uh, pedestal. That's using a real race car wheel and racing slick that was used at our local Vermont track here called Thunder Road. And we even decided to do something cool using real racing studs and a metal tube that kind of resembles a hub that you'd see on a race car. I think it came out pretty damn good. Now this thing is about eight feet tall. So yeah, it's tall. It may look really big and you think that it'd be very heavy. There is some weight to it, but it's not as bad as you think because the whole thing is made out of cast aluminum. But I know you guys want to see what's on the inside. So we'll open this up. So this is what it looks like on the inside of one of these. Now a real traffic light in the real world would have a whole computer system run in this, but this is something that you can buy yourself. And it is just a tiny little circuit board that you can get online for about 30 to 50 bucks. It's made by trafficlights.com and it's the T3 control board. There's all sorts of things that you can do to it like you can run in the standard red, yellow, and blue, and you can adjust a timer on that. You also can do wig wags, and you can do flashing yellow and red if you want to do that. So yeah, so that's what it looks like on the side of mine. I wired up myself. And these are LED panels, modern LED panels that were actually used in a real traffic light. So they're DOT style lights. And these things are insanely bright almost too bright to look at. <laughs> Obviously they're, they're designed so you can see them during the day. This is what the bottom one looks like. I'm just showing you where I ran a power cord. I ran it down through this tube. It comes out to the bottom end of that because it is open. Then you can plug it in using a regular 110 outlet. And I will turn it on for you guys. So here it is working. I'm using the standard um, option here to run your traditional pattern that you see every day. As you can tell, these things are incredibly bright. Yeah. <laughs> So I highly recommend doing something like this. It's very easy, very simple to do. It might take a little bit of time, but it's quite fun. It's a good project. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I, re I would really appreciate it. And if you wanna see more videos like this, 
let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video.